So, uh, welcome to a new tutorial. Uh, I have been receiving several requests again about lighting and Playmaker. So, as usual, I'm at least gonna do one for lighting and one for Playmaker. So, doing lighting in Unity real time is kind of demanding and, and tedious at some times. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to use pictures this time around and just see how you guys uh, follow through and if you like it or don't like it. And then I think if you find something interesting just leave a comment and message me and then I'll make something specific. So this is a non-technical uh, tutorial so to speak so you don't have to actually know your way around um, Unity or, or, or Unreal for that matter or CryEngine, but I will explain it maybe at the end if I uh, see any need for it. So when working with light, a lot of people will just add some lights and then they are like done and happy with it. So the first example is just a corridor to, you know, imagine a warehouse building and then there's walls and card boxes around. Now, the walls here are actually colored white, and the light source is yellow, and I'm using area light, because they tend to be softer and dim. Um, uh, normally, I never use them, so this is actually the first time I'm, I'm trying them out. Uh, but as you see, it, 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 it's quite yellow. And uh, one of the reasons is because the emissive light is too strong and too large, but also because the walls are white. Now I have uh, reduced um, the emissive light and I've added an area light to control the, the light itself. And you can now start noticing the yellow gray color around the, this uh, scene. Now, the thing with color and light is light is not just about adding light, I've said. It's about understanding color and composition as well. Notice that in this level, or this scene, uh, you can notice that uh, the whole scene is kind of lit. And one of the reasons is the sky up here is using the sky box that comes with Unity, which is kind of bluish gradient down to white. And that's why you're getting this color. Uh, this one, however, does not use any skybox, so you'll see that even though the light settings and everything in the walls are white still, uh, the bounce and reflection is not reaching the other parts of the level, mainly because it's focusing on the light source. So the light source is the one that's covering it. So if I do the difference... Without the skybox, with the skybox, without the skybox, with the skybox. So, in my opinion, when you're doing lighting, uh, exterior, even interior for that matter, I think the skybox is one of the first things you should uh, figure out. Because when you work with light, you want to make sure that you know the time of day, and then take it from there. So here, I decided to go for a, a more light time so I kind of know the, the the intensity of the light I kind of know the direction of the light uh, right now the moonlight is coming from the left because that's kind of where the the main light source is because I can look at the skybox where the moon actually is in this particular skybox and that's where I'm putting a directional light but in this case I didn't do anything yet what you see now is the reflection or bounce uh, from the skybox being spread around by global global illumination and you're seeing the yellow light spreading around in the middle now the reason i built a wall like this is also gameplay wise is to tell the player that look there's a light source there's something interesting over there it's different than the rest of the level go over there and have a look uh, now the difference here is I didn't change actually the the intensity of the area light, although it looks like it. The fact is I changed the color of the walls. See here, the color of the walls are white. 
and white as you know it in real life buildings or interior art, uh, interior designers and when you buy an apartment they tend to be white and they tend to say that make the room white it makes it look bigger and also more light right so the darker the color the more light is consumed the more light is taken away from you the less light is reflected the less light is bounced and this is what's happening here it's the same set of things I only switch the material on the walls and everything else. So what's happening, the light isn't as efficient as as before. So I have to ramp up the, the intensity. So this is 8 intensity of area light, which is quite a lot. Uh, now uh, we have similar to the... with the white walls. This is with the white walls. This is without the white walls, this is navy blue. This is with the navy blue, but uh, navy walls and uh, eight intensity. It's almost the same, but you'll still see that the navy blue uh, sucks up more of the light from the from the upper parts over here. See. So. Uh, that's what happens with color. Uh, you have to keep that in mind when you're picking the colors, the textures you're making. It all affects the lighting. So it's it's not just about putting in uh, the technical things like the point light, the, the spotlight. It's really about understanding the whole picture and the big picture of why you need to understand color, why you need to understand um, constructing your framing and so on. Because that's what the walls are for. I'm, I'm framing the player to tell them to go this way. And the light has a practical purpose, a technical purpose, which is come here, there's something over here. And again, this is the same intensity at 8, area light intensity. And again, all I did this time was I went back to white. This is white, one intensity of area light. This is one intensity of area light, but navy blue walls, and the sky tends to be navy blue, so it becomes even more darker because I'm using the same color as the sky, more or less. Here you have eight intensity of the area light, navy blue walls, navy uh, blue kind of sky color, dark blue. Here I change the walls to white. Now the intensity is too much. Now you have to do everything all over again. So that's why it's important to plan your textures and the color choices ahead of time, understanding color palette and how color work. Uh, especially if you're doing everything alone. But as a team, you need to coordinate and think about it ahead of time. And here, uh, I have added direct light source, which is the navy blue color on a white wall. So now the walls are white. I have uh, intensity one on area light, emissive light. I think I put back on one because I didn't want it to actually light as much as the area light. And reflection from the sky and I'm using the direction of the moon which is to the left to light the area. And I don't think there's a lot of shadow on so it's writing through the walls. Here I changed the walls to navy blue walls. Now you see it's becoming darker again, and again sucking up all the color. And uh, I'm drinking tea and that's why it's being a little weird when I'm talking. I apologize. Um, so you want to make sure that you think about the walls, the color of lights, direction, shadows, contrast, and so on. Now what's happening here is, because I changed the white walls to navy blue, the direction of light I'm using is also navy blue. In fact, it's almost identical. So, th the the combination isn't really that good. I mean, in, if you're going for a dark mood, it could work. But, in my opinion, it's not really working well because it's too much blue. I'm uh, increasing the intensity of the wall back to 8 to compensate for the all navy blue colors. I have navy blue. Uh, wall, uh, light, and walls. Here, I change the walls to teal, the color teal, kind of light bluish. Now you might see, you might argue that no, it's all green. No, it's not green. That's what I'm trying to explain here with the colors and light. Is because the source, the main source of light is the yellow light, area light. 
and because the walls are teal, light blue, if you put together blue and yellow, you tend to get greenish color, green color, and that's basically what's happening here. Is because I have yellow, the main light, and I have blue purplish, mainly blue uh, light from the moonlight and and everything and the walls. It's actually becoming uh, green. And then I'm like, oh no, that's not the effect I want. What's going on? Well, the texture artist picked the color, and when I try to go in doing my logic, it doesn't work anymore. Again, the choice of colors in affects the light source and the intensity and mood and everything. So here you have, it's still the teal walls, light bluish walls, uh, which is lighter than the navy blue walls. And I have yellow light, but I have fixed the intensity of the area light and I've reduced it back down to one or two from eight. Notice that it's still green, which is an undesirable effect. It doesn't make sense because you're walking around, then suddenly it's all green, and maybe in some setting it would make sense, but generally it's not making much sense. You could try another, you could go for very orange, but again, then you have still the reflection here on the left, kind of bluish purple, you have the orange, and you have a lot of orange, close to reddish, uh, around source light. It doesn't really make sense, this either. Uh, you could uh, go all, change the skylight, uh, the skybox I mean, and light to white. Then it com becomes overblown with white walls and everything, but it could work. Now you will notice that one of the reasons I have put the light source like straight towards the camera, it's, it's about composition and framing. I'm telling the player, not just with the source light, uh, the yellow light, I'm telling with the uh, environment and the shadows and the contrast that that's there is a way there. There's a passage. I'm luring the player over there using the light. And if you just throw random stuff together, which I just did, it took a couple of minutes, download a couple of textures, just to put it on, and I put in a couple of uh, bloom and and uh, fog and anti analyzing and other post projection uh, post effects, and tweak the colors a little bit, and I got this scene quite quickly. And now, when you're walking in, the player is like, ooh, it looks exciting, I'm gonna go have a look. Uh, and, and that's what they do. Uh, he does, he goes, goes have a look. Now, you might go like, yeah, but you have a light source coming, and what do you need the, the, or the yellow light for? Well, the, the, because without the yellow light, you're not gonna get that effect anymore. With the the uh, the area light and all that you're still gonna you'll see the difference when it's building uh, it's 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 a big difference see it's a huge difference just that single it's just one light source in the scene and the composition and the color choices it's not perfect by any means I'm not saying it's perfect I don't have time to make it perfect but it should explain you the, the importance of light, how you think about light, and the contrast. And contrast is the dark shadows and the light source telling you where it is. Now, if I decided to change the directional light, again, it, it becomes different. It's a different mood different thought process it's not necessarily telling the player come over here this one is clearly telling the player with using the light come over here also if I did do this it wouldn't this one is a bit more interesting but again you have to fix the skybox so I downloaded a free skybox from sky 5 it's called I think uh, most of the things I've been using is free so it's not a problem. Um, I don't know why I'm being a bit weird. There you go. 
Skybox. And you have to change it to Skybox Excited by going to Skybox Excited. Otherwise it has a, a different setting, different shader and you can't rotate it. So now you would have to rotate it. And as you see, as you're rotating it, it's affecting the general light. And it could work. You might like it, you might not like it. It's somewhat interesting. So these things are what you should keep in mind. Now, again, I'm not going to show the technical parts in this particular case, but I do want to point out that uh, the shadows are never black, so I kind of cheated uh, for this video. Uh, if I take this off, it should still be a light source here, so it's fine actually. Because I increased uh, the light by to 3.2. Originally, I had 0 0.3, and it's too dark. So that's probably the last thing I want want you to keep in mind. The shadows are never this dark. So bump it up, and then you have to tweak. I want to show you what I did on camera before I finish. I won't be explaining it. But these are all the settings I've used to get this kind of mood and setting. If I turn it off, this is how it actually looks. But I should point out again, this is not how it looked like when I moved over to post effects. I never go over to post effect until I'm happy with without post effect. In case I don't have to, if in case I'm not using post effect. It was more like this. And I did probably, I had, didn't have this. And this one I was obviously more like here. And the directional light was somewhat here. Uh, but you, you should still learn to do post effects because it's part of doing lighting because that's one of the ways you can adjust the colors but again this is the directional light had I go for typical I could go for this color as well which is works also but again it would have a different color because it's kind of gray white the floor you could go into lighting and you could uh, adjust things over here, turn on file gallery, all these things would obviously improve it. You could change this to another color, maybe more orange, like such. And, you know, just play around like that and get the feel for things. The biggest challenge with having the right Sky, skybox is also this one is kind of bright so technically you would go for a bit more and then you have to play with the shadows obviously and there you go now we have a completely different mood just by changing the colors and the intensity slightly let's look at this let's turn away this and let's just close this and close this put this in here close this I should probably have a new setting here and it's completely different in my opinion it's a bit too light this is my lighting there this is what I do when I'm working with light normally uh, I would probably look at what I wanted to reduce uh, and I'm guessing uh, on top of my head, it's the 
color I would probably go for a more darker color and a bit intensity might even play with this one a bit more because it's so bright anyway Because I'm increasing intensity, you would have to make sure that um, that it matches with the uh, with the emissive. So that's just some quick examples of you know how you can do things. Again, I, I'll wasn't supposed to show anything technical but I figured I'd show a little bit so here you can see that the light source is a bit stronger which is also common so there's nothing wrong with that you can see that it's a stronger it feels a bit more safer because it, the, the, the intensity is stronger the shadows are still strong you could obviously make it more lighter by reducing the strength of the moonlight maybe even the intensity but I wouldn't actually do that and you know you, you just have to play around with it you might want to reduce the, the general range of it but still have an even more higher intensity and you just keep playing that's why I don't do as many real-time recorded sessions with lighting because it does really take quite a lot of time to show all these processes because it's quite an iterative process uh, artistic sounds and uh, you have to understand a lot of things And you know, this is also doable because of this uh, skybox it has a very bright light, so it makes sense to have this kind of strong contrast. So I hope that was useful. Uh, again, please leave some comments, questions, uh, specific things you want to know more about, uh, based on what I just gave some brief examples on. And I'll do something more in depth within a specific topic rather than giving so general outline. Thank you.